think that when you travel to a race, uh, you know, it's kind of far away is, uh, especially when it's your first race of the year is, uh, is, is packing and making sure you have everything. And I, I always try to go through a mental checklist of, you know, and I really literally walk myself through transition, through the race and make sure I have everything, but it never fails. I mean, I, I feel like I always forget something. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I didn't forget anything this time. Um, I, I shouldn't, I mean, my car is pretty much packed. The one thing I am not really ready for is the run. Uh, running okay, I haven't run anything, I haven't run five mile race in God knows how long. Um, and uh, I'm just not where I want to be running wise. It's early, so I'm not concerned about it. But I don't have the speed or the snap that I would typically like to have before a race like this. Uh, I have to go hard in the swim and uh, hard on the bike, which I, again, plan to do. I'm really so I'm down here in Cape May uh, for the Escape the Cape, my first race of the year. And uh, I am uh, just got done my, my tune up. Uh, 20, 25 minute ride and 10 minute run. Uh, I have my bike on the car with my disc, so it's not completely locked down. So if I look up, that's what I'm looking at. Um, but I, uh, I am working on very uh, short sleep, very intermittent sleep the last couple days. So uh, I need to get try to get some rest today. I don't nap well, so uh, uh, we'll see. I, uh, I not happy that I have not slept. It's going to kill my heart rate for tomorrow. Um, I'm just hoping, hoping, hoping that uh, I can get a little rest today and I feel refreshed tomorrow because right now I am struggling. Um, did the uh, first race of the season yesterday, Escape the Cape, um, which was supposed to be an Olympic distance race and turned into something a little less uh, uh, due to fog. Um, they had to shorten the swim and shorten the bike, um, which was probably the right call. It's, uh, it's over. Uh, it did not go as I would have liked. Guy who won has won before. He's, he's solid. And the other two guys beat me. It, it doesn't really matter where I finished. Um, you know, I could have finished second. I could have finished first. Uh, I just didn't feel good. I did not race well. I haven't really put my finger on what the cause is yet. I, it, it, there's a variety of factors um, that, that went into this. Uh, it, it you know, I didn't sleep well leading into the race, and, um, you know, literally, like, I was getting, like, two, three hours of sleep uh, the last few nights, and, you know, that doesn't go well. You just can't dig deep uh, when, you're, when you're, your body is really tired, and, um, you know, I tr the travel, there's, you know, driving, it's a six-hour drive back and forth, um, and, uh, and I trained through the race. I mean, that was really what my coach wanted me to do was train through this race. So I, I don't know what it was. And, you know, what I'm, what I'm afraid of and what it could be is that it's been five years since I've really, you know, laid down efforts uh, that I'm trying to lay down now. And, you know, five years ago, I was, A, five years younger. Um, and I also didn't have, a, like, this five-year sort of break. Um, you know, not that I was completely out of shape the last five years, but, you know, I've had a lot of, I, I definitely have not put in the volume like I used to put in it. And, you know, maybe that all has something to do with it. Um, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Swim starts on the uh, Cape May Lewis Ferry, and you jump uh, what is approximately 12 feet. But when you are standing there, you know, I'm 5'9", so, you know, add, you know, five and a half feet to that. It, it's pretty, uh, you don't have time to think about it, but it's pretty damn high. I felt like I was all over the place. Uh, I was trying to follow a couple of the guys in front of me. Um, and I just felt like they were zigzagging the whole, like, at least for the first, like, 500 meters, uh, they were zigzagging all over the place. You know, again, it's hard to tell how you swam in this race. Um, I felt okay. I don't think I swam as well as I could have, but nothing wrong with my swim, I don't think. Due to the fact that the swim was cut short, the race director cut the bike, sh the bike course from two loops, which was, like, 23 miles to one loop, which is a little under 12, I guess. And, um, you know, that, again, changes the, the dynamic of the race. Um, I went into a race with, the, with a plan to, you know, A, to race 23 miles and 
built into it uh, for the first three. So I had to throw that plan out the window. I had to go hard from the get-go. My legs weren't there, so it even made it worse. Didn't, didn't ride as well as I would have liked. I just did not have my legs. I didn't have the energy levels that I'd like to have. Um, and a little disappointed in that because I was really looking forward to that bike course. Either. So on to the run. Um, I knew the run was going to be tough. It, you know, it used to be my strength, and right now I feel like like feel like it's my weakness. Um, I, you know, I just I don't have what I've had in the past, which is a weapon, um, which is coming off the bike and running people down. I just don't have it. I don't know. Maybe I won't get it back. I don't know. I'm hoping I do. But out there, and I was just kind of like running as best I could. My heart rate wasn't where I wanted it to be, and. Um, um, I don't know. You know, this just goes to show that it doesn't matter how much you train. Or just sometimes things just don't go as, as you as you want. So, yeah, you know, you have to sort of regroup and move on. And, and that's kind of what I'm going to do here is, is regroup and move on and get ready for the next one.